Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, so I have some more progress um, as of today. Um, it's probably about 12.30 um, right now on Saturday. Um, we painted the whole backside. The biggest wall that I have on my whole house is on the backside. It's the tallest and the biggest. So we were able to finish up the trent, the fascia and all that stuff on that side. And paint that whole wall and finish up all the grooves and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you guys um, some footage of that. But once I walk over there, it's going to get kind of windy. We caught it half a day because it started drizzling rain. And then it stopped. And then we got a whole huge cloud coming in in the back. So we didn't want to um, start painting. And then it starts pouring rain. And then we're going to mess up our paint job on this side, right? But at least on the back side, it's got um, you know some time to dry. So let me walk you guys over there real quick and show you guys what we got done. So, I mean, we still got to do this side. This is the last side that we have to do. I know it's windy guys, but I'm gonna make it quick. So here's the back side of the house guys. I'm gonna really back up because it's just long. So here's the back side. So we stopped here. Oh focus. We stopped here last week. Uh, so now we I finished painting all into the grooves and all the way around, making sure it's a nice heavy coat. Uh, then we paint because I painted all the lines the week before on the bottom. So we had to finish the lines all over on the top here. Then we was able to really lay the paint on. And this side of the house is actually the more um, weather side. So we really made sure that we um, loaded the primer on here because, you know, this is the moisture side mostly and the wind and all that. So we wanted to make sure this side was really coated. So yeah, as you guys can see, we got her done. Really nice. If the weather was gonna hold up for us, we would have been able to finish the whole other side. But, you know, you don't want to play with water with paint. You know what I mean? So. So we got all three sides done. So this side's finally done, nice and thick. This side's done. And then the... Sorry guys, let me walk around here. And this side's done. So, um, you know, we're making progress. We're getting as much as we can do as much as we can do with the uh, weather you know uh, it's about to I mean they kept saying on the news it's gonna pour rain pour rain pour rain uh, sometime after lunch and like right around lunch it already started drizzling on us on that side and so we just decided you know what there's no sense of chance in it so yeah uh, we got three sides of the house completely primered up and really look, looking nice so now um, Sometime this week when I I can I can take off whenever I want basically at work So um, what I'm gonna do is um, sometime this week. I'm gonna come back over here like how I did all these lines I'm gonna hit all these lines going all the way up so that way all the lines are done and Then um, since we pr position the scaffolding on the corner I can actually already paint the when I'm doing the lines I can already paint the fascia on this side as far as I can go because it needs two people to move the scaffolding around because it's the terrain and what's in the way But you know what I mean? I can get a good jump start on all the lines and the fascia on this side And then that way when the next weekend comes all I gotta do is finish this side of the fascia here, right? Because we're going back over their shitty ass work that chicken shit work those guys did for me So we're going back over their work. So at least then I'll get you know We'll have a nice big head start so that way all I gotta do is finish this and then um We can already start rolling all of this so next week and uh, should be a pretty um, pretty quick day on painting and then once we're done painting um, I'm not sure I was talking to my brother I'm not sure if we're gonna put on um, the fascia on first or I'm not fascia but sorry the trim you know like around the windows and stuff and then caulk all of that the same time because we got to caulk you know all the seams and all that stuff still yet yeah so um, that's the next project just finish up this back wall right here um, with primer and then we can either do two things we can start caulking everything already or we can put the trim on and then caulk everything because we're still gonna have to caulk anyway with the trim so maybe we'll put the trim on first and then while we're up there we can you know caulk everything and then once it's all done being caulked then hopefully the next weekend we can finally put the final color on this house and then um and it's gonna go a lot faster because this primer is you know it takes a it takes quite a long time because you know where this wood is soaking up all that paint you know all the primer paint so now that there's an actual coat and the and the grooves are all you know um loaded up in there and stuff so 
it's going to be a lot easier now when we get ready to finally put that final um final color on it's just going to you know be a breeze compared to what we had to deal with with the primer so that's the good news so i'm pretty excited because we're what roughly two weekends away from having the house completely painted as far as you know what i've been showing you guys primer and house color and then hopefully the weekend after that we can finally slide the roof up there and um it'll be dried in for once finally but if the weather gives us shit again then you know there's nothing that i can do so we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna try and get as much as i can done this week on this side just to kind of get a because by me doing all these lines when i had some extra time here and there and the other side that saved us probably maybe two or three hours of painting you know so that way i can get a nice big jump start and then that way we're just you know tackling these projects and getting them done so uh, if it gives me some good weather this week that's what I'll, that's my plan guys and then i'm also still painting some stuff underneath the house when the weather's kind of bad you know i'm pulling stuff in and trying to paint as much as i can and stuff so yeah guys i'm super excited i mean you know it's <laughs> that whole back wall took one whole five gallon bucket of primer and um i've got one and a half buckets left so this so one more bucket will paint this whole back side of the wall and then the other half gallon of bucket i can use to um paint some of this wood i'm probably going to buy a one more bucket of primer because you know this wood soaks it up so much that that half bucket of primer won't be able to paint all this lumber you know what i mean but at least you know there's enough there to get me started and then i can go buy another bucket and finish up painting all this stuff so yeah guys um progress is um being made and we're getting stuff done and yeah right on you know like i told my brother i'm like man we're getting there finally you know like man and he's like I, he's like he's telling me today he's like i almost want to just get this wall done right here but there's no sense of chance in the rain because you know rain and paint don't mix too well <laughs> yeah it's gonna start bubbling on us or whatever so yeah anyway guys just a quick update on the house things are coming along we're really not too far away from actually finally putting this roof on this damn house guys get this roof on and then man i can start working on the power room i can start working inside the house again and we're gonna have a lot of projects and a lot of stuff going on so um i'll definitely keep you guys updated as i make the progress so anyway guys i hope you guys are having a great day and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video